now listen lottery is out here on some look me too kind of thing okay because yesterday i did do a video and i was basically talking about how ispice has uh you know reached 1 billion streams on um you know on spotify and i was basically congratulating uh you know ispice and actually recommending that lato take some notes from this little girl uh it did seem like yeah lato also had the milestone of her own of reaching a billion plays on i had radio so basically radio play i'm not saying this to be shady but you get what i'm saying uh meanwhile she also uh did a cosmo interview and she basically graced the cover of cosmo and i will say that she did really look pretty she looked nice on that cover okay um yeah she did look pretty i'm not even gonna lie okay and at the same time you guys she had some interesting things to say about her career and where she sees herself in the future and i did find some of the things that she said in that interview pretty interesting um this baby rigsa situation i don't i don't know whether to talk about it or not because honestly speaking it's extremely disturbing but hey i will talk about that in this video as well hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i'm still sitting in the sun recording this video for you guys so yeah <laughs> when you come in in the comment section just know that okay this is exactly what i'm doing anyway, hey hey anyway <laughs> i don't know what's going on you guys i think it's just the sun right now but yeah i trust you're doing well i trust you're having a great day i uh, hope into the comment section and let me know how your day is going so yeah let's talk about lato okay let us talk about lottery ticket so yeah like i told you i posted a video yesterday i was talking about ice spice and her billion streams and lottery did take to her instagram and her youtube to basically repost uh you know that she also has gotten a billion streams on uh you know on not a billion streams um a billion i don't know what do you call it if it's radio play it's not it's not streams um listenership listeners one billion listeners one billion spins yeah spins is the way spin spin okay so she basically posted that about herself and honestly speaking it was giving like look me too and i'm just like this is exactly what i keep talking about okay that when you are constantly presenting yourself as an op of somebody you will have like your whole life you will leave it proving trying to prove that look me too we know who else does it each time Nicki Minaj does, does something, that little something will be like, that little person will be like, me, look, me too, I also did it. Nicki Minaj had a Forbes article, look, me too, I have a pop sugar one too. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's exhausting living your life like that. And honestly speaking, I'm not saying this from a point of disliking lottery, but I, I honestly do feel like maybe she doesn't realize what, you know, being, presenting yourself as an op, you know, what that does to you and your mental health. It's not healthy. But all the same, congratulations to Lottery Ticket and her radio play. Is, is that what they call payola? Oh my God. <laughs> no, you guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the real congratulations congratulations now moving on to the next thing that i'm going to be talking about i'm still talking about lottery and for you people who actually come in my comment section asking me why i'm always talking about lottery is she not a female rapper like lottery is a female rapper and i report on female rap news okay so i don't know why you would be shocked to see lottery on my page the only reason i talk about lottery is because she's a female rapper okay so don't come in my comment section telling me who not to talk about and who to talk about okay who made you captain of media okay wrong right anyway let's move right next to the thing that i wanted to talk about her uh, in the in the cosmo interview first of all i'm just gonna say she did look pretty she looked nice she slayed that cover and she had some interesting things to say obviously in the interview uh she said that she would see herself as an actor and she doesn't see herself in the music industry forever and she would want to be someone like rihanna and i'm just like oh well these are smart business moves okay uh acting definitely would be a very cute gig um whether she can act or she can't that i don't know okay uh i guess we'll find out when she does happen to find you know a movie role hopefully it's not gonna be anything on peacock like chloe bailey uh hopefully she will be scoring like a scoring a, a movie a uh, gig like you know Halle bailey okay my own opinion i i just i hope it's it will be one of those but that being said let's talk about her wanting to be rihanna now first of all lottery to actually have the amount of influence that rihanna has you have to have a music career going you have 
to have a fashion career going because like it or not before even uh rihanna started this whole entire fenty thing she always identified as a fashion killer the hence the reason why asap asap rocky had her in the a uh, in the what do you call it fashion killer um you know in the fashion killer video because she has all always identified as such her skin she has always taken care of her skin so i guess if lottery wants to go down that route she has to focus more on her music number one to her fashion okay instead of just you know out being out here acting all like this picking bees she should be channeling all that energy into creating an image and a brand for herself that is actually all that will be marketable in a certain way okay so that's just what i think about that okay and her saying that she doesn't see herself doing music uh you know forever goes to show what i'm always talking about some of these girls don't do rap because they actually do love rap they see it as a you know a means of survival okay a stepping stone to something so that's why i'm saying it's always disrespectful when people start comparing uh you know actual rappers will see themselves doing this rap thing for their entire lives with these girls who are actually actually out there just rapping to get some cloud and some coins okay this has always been my point of argument this has always been the reason why i am constantly com complaining that do not compare you know real rappers true female rappers to girls like these okay but hey that's just my opinion as for the business move i feel like it's a genius idea it's a very smart move uh, if she does happen to be able to execute it as well okay now moving on to the next thing that i'm going to be talking about so people were out here th throwing phones at bb and i'm like what is what, what like what what's it's annoying the last time i spoke about something like this people had done the same to chloe bailey okay and i just say to myself i do not care how much you do not like someone you don't throw things at people okay and if you have been following this channel, you know this is the reason why I'm not a fan of that other girl who threw stuff at others. <laughs> so i don't like that okay i do not like that at all don't get physical with people don't throw things at people especially performers who haven't done anything to you don't do it because now as a result baby is out there getting uh, stitches and things like that and i'm just like no man it's not okay all right i don't know you guys do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about this entire lottery cosmo interview uh, hey guys i think i'll talk about that in that and in, in, in the other video okay lottery also spoke about the advice that uh you know the transformer is out here giving her and i'm like okay let's talk about that in that other video because this will become extremely long thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far and until my next one see you do not forget to subscribe you guys we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers i'm literally sweating in this car bye